First time recording in a while. I'm gonna drive this car. We're gonna do this legally. Discharge the AC. Oh yeah. Whoa. It's all done. Here's where I'm at. At the moment, this is my new KA from that black 240 and this recently pulled stock completely okay is from that red car over there they're both the same so basically what i'm doing is taking everything from this engine and putting it to that one just because this is a low mileage ka that just starved it of oil because it was my fault so all the parts are good except for the starter I gotta figure that out if you guys didn't know this is my 240 that I'm going to keep I got coilovers recently off of that car that's a parts car that I got for pretty cheap the engine is completely out thank goodness I think today I'm gonna delete all the AC lines which is like it makes the engine bay look pretty ugly and I'm gonna not run AC on the next setup. Too bad I didn't catch all the hectic parts of tearing the engine out of this thing. Ugh. Before we get into any of the engine work, let's start off with something small for the steering wheel. Okay, a problem I'm having right now is that my fingers get pretty close when I turn the wheel and I end up hitting this or something. So I got a, a little spacer that probably 20 mil out something like that 20 25 it's right here I just put it in between the steering wheel and it fixes that problem because this is a, a short hub with a flat steering wheel so it makes it sit pretty far and this should be my solution oh okay let me use my other hand to get this on extra long bolts that GK tech gives you Thankfully, it already makes a big difference. Wow. Last and final touch. Wait. Oh no, don't tell me. For now, I guess no horn button. Uh, it's because this diameter in here isn't as small as the actual hub. So, not a problem. I never really use my horn anyways. This is how much space I have now. Like, I could be like this and turning in it. I won't be able to hit it. Oh. Sorry. On the side, here's what it looks like. Kind of shiny. Looks cool. I like it. Now this, all of this, has been causing me the biggest trouble. Mainly the reason why I have the engine out. Not really, but I hate the EGR because I tried to do it on the car, but it was just, it was too annoying. All this EGR related stuff, finally gone. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Look at all these lines. Let's get this out of here. This is not in use, so we can take everything off of it. Okay, all done for today. And we're getting rid of this motor. Yes. <laughs> this isn't gonna go on for a little while until everything's set for the motor, but I got a package. Might as well open it right now. Look at this thing, oh my god, it's a turn down exhaust. It's pretty light too. Whoa, this is sick. By ISR. It's basically a straight pipe too, man. Oh god, oh god. Oh, That's disgusting, there was rusty coolant in there because the water pump right there I guess was left sitting with just water or 
Honestly, don't know. The coolant that came out of here was orange, anyways. That's definitely rust. Not just the coolant. So I'm pretty sure they just had water in it, and then it started to rust. But I have a new water pump on the way. Here it is. This is the new power plant of the 240 that I own, and. Yeah, it's pretty much almost there. There's only a couple things that I need to do, but I know, say if you're getting into redoing your KA, this is how I did mine, and I think it's pretty good. So, I mean, just to start off, well for now, I'm not done with this yet, but I need to change the valve cover gasket, and then Healy coil, the block so the valve cover can thread on, because this hole right here is stripped, so gotta do that. Yeah, for header side, I have the EGR plug right here. Again, this is for people who wanna get familiar with KAs. I know this can be boring to some people, but inter interesting for others. I am not running AC, so I have all of this space, and I'm gonna love it. In the engine bay, it's gonna be so clean, but I definitely have to power wash this thing once I have everything sealed up. Intake side of things is where all the goodies happen. Well, kind of. A lot of simplification. Simplification. Over here should be all your EGR stuff. All that. So all the things that's unbolted without the bolt. Um, that's all gone. Right here, the swirl control valve. You do that. I tapped it and then JB welded a bolt into there so it won't leak. If you take a look inside, those brand new looking bolts is not supposed to be there. Usually there's a PCV system going in, which directs blow by, oil getting through combustion, and puts it back into your intake valve. Um, yeah, I just, it makes everything cleaner. Took it out, and I'm going to run a different system for that. To our right is the EGR block off plate. Made it easy for me. Thank you, ISR. I replaced all the vacuum lines, so this little 90 right here, I couldn't find a 90 vacuum line, so I got a, a 90 fitting and then two straight vacuum lines. Yeah, I made it work. Down in here, right here, there used to be a mess of vacuum lines coming out. I deleted that whole assembly, so there should be, I don't have it on me, but there's like four vacuum lines, it looks like noodles and I took all that out. For the throttle body too, you're gonna have to delete the coolant lines going to it. So this coolant line, this vacuum line, and that little buddy right there. I had a custom order, a coolant cap, because I'm not gonna use a regular old vacuum cap. Oh, that was a mouthful. If you are getting into simplifying your KA, I think that this is the perfect engine for me to start on because if I did this on my G, I would have no idea what I'm doing. Four cylinders, no turbocharger, only the engine. This is the easiest it gets. Look how goddamn dirty my car is. Spring has really taken a toll on it. Yeah, it's been sitting like this for a while since there's no engine in it. You now know I'm not gonna be running AC, so there's a couple lines I could delete. This little big hose right there, right here too, to this canister, which serves a perfect spot for my catch can. Done. I don't know if you guys notice the difference, but this is all the stuff for the AC. There's a couple stuff I need to do today. So all the water housing, the heater outlet, the outlet that goes to the radiator, the water pump, I need to get all those on. That's easy though, just bolt on. But something new that I'm doing is installing Healy coils in the valve cover bolt holes because one of them is stripped and 
If I'm gonna do all the gaskets, might as well fix this too. Okay. Well, that was that was a very terrifying. Super quick, like I didn't even have to shave down that much, and it kind of self-aligned, I think. If you don't know what's happening is, I'm making new threads in this with our brand new hole. It looks straight to me. I do about a, a full turn and then a quarter to half back each time. Figure out the shavings, but this is an open hole on the bottom. And that makes it a little easier on me. I put some motor oil and so it gets into those little like crevices on the top. I tapped it. I feel like I'm a, a bit crooked, but what's done is done. To say the least, I think I did a decent job. <laughs> uh, let's spray it out with some brake cleaner. Right here. This is a Healy coil. It's kind of like an adapter, but it's a, a spring. I don't know. It, it's pretty cool though. Let's see if it threads in. Take a close look. There's threads in there. After that, after the thread locker dries up, should be pretty solid. But this is a normal one. This is a Healy coil. It's really easy. It's just really terrifying because, like, if you mess up, obviously can't really go back. But that's with a lot of things. Quick random update. I am painting the engine bay a quarter of it, just so no rust. Definitely not the cleanest job when painting, but all that was all bare metal due to me having a fat exhaust seat for a little minute. All I did was scotch brite it, so fetching primer, then regular primer. I'm gonna be on to the base coat so it matches. This is the order I used it in first I mean the color kind of matches this is just a little faded I'm gonna try to blend it in a little if I can um, to make it a little more appealing I need to get this pilot bushing slash pilot bearing out whatever you want to call it and then you slide it out oh my god it was that easy guys that flipping easy